what is the biggest change underneath the hood of a vehicle in the past five years? Direct injection? No. Hybrid technology? No. It is actually the cooling system on the vehicle. So why is it the cooling system? Because the cooling system determines the temperature inside the combustion chamber. When you can change the temperature inside the combustion chamber or control it, well, you're going to have a more efficient engine. In other words, you're able to control the temperature, which also controls the pressure inside the combustion chamber. But there's five major components that are changing on these engines that you need to be aware of. The first is the electronically controlled thermostat. These came out about 10 years ago. The early ones, well, they had a heater coil around the brass and wax element that changed the thermostat opening. This helped when the loads on the engine actually increased. Let's say the driver's going uphill. It was able to open up the thermostat, get the coolant flowing before the temperature spiked with inside the engine. Other innovations, well, we're gonna see more electronic thermostats that control different channels inside the head, the block, and possibly even the intake manifold. The other greatest change, well, it's actually the water pump. I'm not talking about the water pump on the front of the engine because those could be going away. I'm talking about an electric water pump. More and more vehicles for 2020 have an electric water pump. These help to control the flow through the block, so the coolant can absorb the heat inside the block and then control the flow to the radiator. This helps for more even combustion temperatures. The other technology we're seeing both on domestic and import vehicles, it's active grill shutters. These active grill shutters, well, let's say the vehicle is starting up. They're closed. This prevents airflow through the radiator and the engine warms up faster. Let's say there's a sudden load on the engine. Well, the veins will open up and air can flow through freely. This also works for the air conditioning too. The next change you're gonna see, well, it's actually gonna be three cooling systems on a vehicle. You're gonna have one for the block, the head, the radiator. Then you're gonna have one for the air charge coolers for either the supercharger or turbocharger. And that's gonna be completely separate from the other cooling system. And then oil is gonna play an increasing role on these engines to help control combustion chamber temperatures. In other words, the cooling jet at the bottom of the piston, well, it's gonna take over more and more cooling of the entire engine. The other change you're gonna see, well, it's gonna be the coolant itself. Some coolants will go 150,000 miles before they need to be replaced, but this does not mean that the vehicle needs to be maintained. In other words, if there's a cooling system repair, make sure that you're using the correct application for the coolant. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.